Welcome to session six of Introduction to Computing CSIT 103. This session will discuss transmission media. The session will look at the physical layer for raw bit stream transportation from one machine to another. Various physical media can be used for the transmission. Each one plays a different role with respect to bandwidth, delay, cost, maintenance, among others. The media that convey information can be classified as guided or unguided. This is discussed under two major headings, guided media and unguided media. Guided media provide a physical path along which the signals are propagated, while the unguided media prov employ an antenna for transmitting through a vacuum or wall. So we will discuss this session in three outline. Introduction, guided media, and unguided media. You have reading lists. Introduction. Transmission, sending of data from one device to another. The media, medium used to transmit data. Transmission medium, anything that can carry information from a source to a destination. Example, transmission medium for two people having a dinner conversation is the air. For a written message, the transmission medium might be a mail carrier, a truck, or an airplane. So when we have a sender sending a message to a receiver, we have the physical layer and then we have the transmission medium, cable or air. And then we have the physical layer where the reception will take place. The classes of transmission media, we have guided, which is wired, and unguided, which is wireless. Then under the guided, we have what we call the twisted pair cable, the coaxial cable, the fiber optic cable. And then unguided wireless, we have free space. So in guided media, data signals are guided through a communication path. The communication path consists of wires, stroke cables. Sender and receiver are directly connected. Design factors. You think of bandwidth, you think of higher bandwidth gives higher rate data rate. Transmission impairment, interference, and number of receivers. So when we have guided media, we show you a picture like this. It contains, it can be a twisted pair cable, can be a coaxial cable, or it can be a fiber optic. In twisted pair cable, which is most commonly used cable in LANs, it's relatively easy to work with. It's flexible, efficient, and fast. It consists of two insulated copper wires arranged in a regular spiral pattern. May be used to transmit both analog and digital transmissions. Each cable has eight copper wires, conductors. They transmit electric signals. The eight wires are grouped into four pairs blue, orange, green, and brown. Each pair is twisted along the entire length of the cable, and pairs are twisted together as well. So this is a typical example. We have blue, green, brown, and orange. Twisting the wires reduce cross talk and interferences. So this is a typical example. We have the color coding also shown here. And then twisted pair cable is categorized into shouldered twisted pair and unshouldered twisted pair. We have the shouldered and unshouldered. The shouldered twisted pair has aluminum shielded to reduce noise and crosstalk. More expensive, easy to install. Then Harder to handle is because it is thick and heavy. 
The unshielded twisted pair, that is the UTP, is no shielding ordinary telephone wires, cheapest, easy to install. We have types of patch cables, straight through cable, most common type of patch cable used to connect a computer to a central connecting device like a switch. Crossover cable used to connect devices to each other. Example, used to connect computer to another computer. Attenuation. Twisted pair cable can be run 100 meters before the signal degrees. Signal repeaters, hub or switch can be used to run the signal further. Note, fiber optics run much faster than twisted pair cable. Interference. Anytime that this anything that will disrupt or modify a signal traveling along a wire is termed as interference. Interference types are electromagnetic interference, radio emergency uh, frequency interference, data emanation, cross talk. In electromagnetic interference, it affects electrical circuits, devices, cables. Most electrical device causes electromagnetic interference. Example, TVs, air conditioning units, motors, and shielded electrical cables and others. Data emanation, also known as signal emanation. It is an electromagnetic field generated by network cable or network device. The most commonly seen security risks when using coaxial cable is a data emanation. Crosstalk, another type of interference, occurs when the signal transmitted on a copper wire or pair of wires creates an undesired effect on another wire or pair of wires. Coaxial cable, it is made up of the copper conductor insulation layer of plastic foam, second conductor or shield of wire mesh, tube or metallic foil, outer jacket of tough plastic, has better shielding than twisted pair. It spans longer distances at higher speeds. Coasia cable has good shielding against noise and crosstalk used in wide range of application. It carries higher frequency signals than the twisted pair cables. It provides higher bandwidth rates of up to 450 megabytes per second. Example, television distribution, area to TV systems. So this is a typical coaxial cable. Coaxial cable are three categories of coax cables named RG59. RG59 turned as cable TV or using cable TV. RG58 using thin internet and RG11 using thick internet. RG stands for radio government. Cables are connected using BNC connector and BNC slash or dash T connectors. So these are examples of BNC connectors. Fiber optics. Fiber optic cable. Most sophisticated cable used in long distance network connection. It transmits light, which is termed as photons, instead of electricity. The light is transmitted over glass or plastic. Data transmission is done through light ray signal transmission. Media for fiber optics is glass. It has extremely small glass or plastic strands. Types of fiber optics. It comes in two modes. Single mode fiber, multi-mode fiber. Unguided media. Wireless or open air space is said to be unguided media. There is no connectivity between the sender and receiver. Information is spread in the air, and anyone, including the actual recipient, may correct the information. 
Transmission and reception are achieved by means of an antenna. So there are types of antennas. Directional antenna, which transmit antenna puts out focus beam. Transmitter and receiver must be aligned. There we have omnidirectional antenna. Signals pressed out in all directions can be received by many antennas. Then we have radio transmission. Radio waves, which uses wavelength, ranges from one millimeter to 100,000 kilometers. The frequency also ranges from 3 hertz to 300 gigahertz. Radio frequencies are subdivided into six bands. The power of low frequency waves decreases as it covers longer distances. So high frequency radio waves have more power, easily absorbed by rain and other obstacles. Example includes very large frequency, large frequency, medium frequency bands can travel on the gro ground up to 1,000 kilometers over the Earth's surface. So as shown here. Microwave transmission. Electromagnetic waves above 100 megahertz travel in a straight line. Microwaves employ electromagnetic waves. Hence, wave travels in straight lines. Both sender and receiver must be aligned to be strictly in line of, la of sight. Microwaves have wavelengths ranging from 1 millimeter to 1 meter, frequency ranging from 300 megahertz to 3,000 gigahertz. Microwave transmission is highly dependent on weather conditions. Frequency being used, example as shown in the picture here. Infrared transmission, infrared waves lies in between visible light spectrum and microwaves. Wavelength ranges from one millimeter to 700 millimeter. Frequency ranges from 300 gigahertz to 430 terahertz. Used for very short range communication purposes. Infrared travels in a straight line and they are directional. Infrared is unable to cross walk like obstacles. Uses transmitters, receive, so receivers. Transceivers that modulate non coherent infrared light. Transceivers must be within line of sight of each other. Light transmission. In light transmission, electromagnetic spectrum, which can be used for data transmission, achieved by means of laser. Laser transmission is in under unidirectional. Laser beam is generally one millimeter wide. Lasers cannot penetrate obstacles like walls, rain, and thick fog. Laser beam is distorted by wind and temperature. Variation in the path. Lasers are safe for data transmission. It travels in straight line. Hence, sender and receiver must be in the line of sight. As we see, laser works as transmitter and photo detectors works as receivers, as shown in the diagram. The reference is given. There.